And I think the master plan, the utopian idea, it's an absolute necessity when you develop such a big new city. We took the first sketch, developed it to an acceptable standard and submitted the competition. We realized, okay, if we engage here, it will be some kind of monster development without any connections to neighbors or to life or to Vienna. And the first question came, of course, Mr. Tovat, do you believe in this? Do you know what you've done? It looks like the past. It's not about the future. Do you know how to build a city? And then I said, no, I don't. La selva, que es un territorio increíble, es el corazón del mundo, el pulmón del mundo, de reserva cultural y patrimonial enorme, se necesita de revalorarse. Los niños crecen acá en la selva, eh, en zona rural, junto con la naturaleza, con otro concepto de libertad, libres, crecen libres. En estos lugares o los lugares más alejados llegan pocos arquitectos. O los pocos que llegan, llegan un ratito nomás a hacer su obra, de ahí se van. Y entonces es difícil que se logre de iniciar esos procesos como en Semillas hemos hecho. Y en los primeros años, cuando iban los alcaldes de acá, me cerraban puertas. Cuando yo le decía, tenemos tanto presupuesto, me contestaban, ay, ¿qué vas a hacer con esto? Pura chocita, sabrás. Certainly, first cities and settlements were actually there to protect ourselves from the wild nature. But I mean, let's be honest, I mean, the biggest threat actually on this planet actually is our humans. I mean, it's not that we were threatened by wild nature anymore. I think more and more in the city, you can find the butterflies, the hedgehogs, the birds actually that kind of like move around here and find this their habitat. And I think, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, cities, I think, are, are, are known to be magnets for people, but actually by also making greener, they're also more and more magnets actually for animals. I think it's, it's more that we have to kind of find new ways of coexisting uh, with each other. If you ask me, like, how do our projects actually relate to the kind of like the massiveness of the climate crisis, yeah, we're not going to solve the climate crisis actually with our projects, uh, but doing nothing is not an option. My definition of architecture is not just about making buildings. We should be able to produce architecture with much less resources. We should not judge materials, but we should be conscious of all the 
options in a material palette. And what is the price? And not only money price, what is the environmental and social cost of using a certain material? So I think it's just to develop the consciousness and ingenuity and the cleverness of humans to use less.